Some people have a lot of hours on their favorite games. Like, a lot. Some people have over 400 hours on Red Dead 2 or Borderlands 2, 773 hours on Geometry Dash, 1100 hours on DayZ, nearly 1300 hours on Terraria, over 5000 hours on CSGO or Euro Truck Simulator. These people really like their favorite games. I mean, they must like it a lot to play for 226 days. Maybe it's not even necessarily their favorite game, but they just keep coming back to it. It makes me curious. I wonder what it is that makes them want to play for so long. It can even make me a little bit jealous. These people like a single game this much to come back to it time and time again. But I don't have any games like that on Steam. My most played game is a measly 287 hours on Stardew Valley. And that's split over a few different playthroughs over a few years. In fact, here are my top 13 most played games on Steam. Only 7 of them are over just 100 hours. With these games, I've played them for quite a while, but eventually, I stop and move on to something else. It's not like I dislike the games. Most of these are actually among my favorite games of all time. I really loved playing them, but I could never see myself playing for that long. Ultimately, I reach a stopping point. I put down the controller and I start playing the next game. So where is that game for me? Where's the game that I can play for 500 hours without getting bored? The game that I boot up for a few hours at night when I can't think of anything else to do. A game I could play for months and months, and it would still keep me entertained. Well the answer is, I don't have one. And I'm not sure if I ever will. But there are times when I yearn for a game like this. I want a game so special to me that it makes me want to invest that much time into it. I've had a taste of it before. When my country was in a really long lockdown, I started playing Satisfactory and I dumped 130 hours into this game over the course of about a month. I was locked inside all day, and all I would think about is how I'm going to grow my factory after I'd finished my online school. I would play this game all night long, and one time, after a 7 hour session of automating, I looked out my window, in real life. I expected it to be completely dark, but to my surprise, the sun was rising and the birds were chirping. I vividly remember seeing somebody on their morning jog down the street, which was hilarious to me. I was so entirely engrossed in this game that I didn't realize it was now 5am. So I went to bed and I probably started playing the game again after waking up at 2 in the afternoon. I had the best time playing Satisfactory. It's the type of game that I could definitely see myself playing for 500 hours. But I got near the end of the main progression system, and I reached a stopping point once more. The time came when I felt I just had to put it down. I definitely could have played for longer, automating everything further and becoming more productive, but for whatever reason, I stopped. I want to clarify again that I didn't stop playing because I disliked the game. Because I didn't. I loved it. I'm not too sure why I stopped, but for a time, I got a brief glimpse of having a game that takes over your whole life. Yet all of this added up to just 130 hours, which pales in comparison to the hour counts of some other people. For me, it seems impossible to find a game that I could play for that long. So how do other people play for so long? Do they not get bored? Do they not reach a stopping point? I think it largely depends on the type of game that one is playing. For many people, the games they play are highly replayable, or even endless. People who play games like Civilization usually have incredibly high hour counts because they can play over and over again. Euro Truck Simulator and other simulation games can just go forever. People find it relaxing to drive for thousands of hours, and good for them. I've played the game and I can definitely see the appeal of just chilling and driving around every night. Games like Skyrim, Terraria, Stardew Valley, Factorio, there's something about them that makes people want to play again and again. These games can basically last forever. Or, after you get bored with your 100 hour save file, instead of moving on to a different game, you can start a new save file as a different class or try a different playstyle. Even though every Skyrim character ends up being a stealth archer. There are certain people who can play these games again and again and love them just as much as they did the first time. And I love all these games, but usually I play them once and then I'm, I'm kind of done. I actually lied a little bit earlier. There is one game where I do have a large number of hours. It's just not on Steam. Even though my hour count of this game is not tracked, I can say with certainty that I definitely have over 1000 hours on Minecraft. Minecraft is a good example of this type of game that can be played forever. The sandbox nature of the game, along with the unlimited creativity the game allows you to use, leads to what everyone knows as the two-week Minecraft phase, where you and all your friends get a realm and play 24-7 until you burn out. We've all been there. 
and I've been playing for over a decade now, so all of those realms I've been on add up, not to mention the number of hours I've spent on Mindplex and Hypixel over the years. Looking through my old realms for that footage made me really nostalgic and now I just want to make a video about Minecraft. This relates to another type of game that easily allows people to play for 500 hours. Multiplayer games are an obvious cause for people having astonishingly high hour counts. Being able to play with your friends makes any game a lot more fun than it actually is. Due to the casual nature of playing a short match of something with your friends, you can play these games again and again and again. For some people, the grind of getting better and climbing a competitive ladder drives them to keep playing. Over time, this can accumulate pretty quickly into hundreds or thousands of hours. I've played my fair share of multiplayer games, some of which I've played for quite a long time. But eventually, I stopped feeling the compulsion to finish a battle pass or play the same game over and over, when I could be playing something fresh instead. For these people that love a game so much to play it for 500 hours or more, that's good for them. They're happy and that's great. Different strokes for different folks. I do play multiplayer games as well, I'm not saying that I avoid them entirely. But in general, I tend to enjoy shorter single player games more. I just don't feel the drive to play one game for that long. And I'm sure there are lots of other people like me as well. But you know what does drive me? Oh yeah! Playing a wide variety of games. Playing through a great game, finishing it, and moving on to another great game. This variety is what I crave. Being able to explore a myriad of different genres and delve into various corners of the gaming world, that's what brings me joy. I love doing a little bit of everything. I just personally enjoy shorter, digestible experiences that have a definite ending. I like to focus on finding the most unique and innovative experiences I can, rather than maximizing my time in a single game. Playing one game for too long gives me a sort of FOMO. I get bored and start thinking, I could be playing something new and fresh right now. Also, by playing a wide range of games, I hope to become more experienced and knowledgeable about the medium as a whole. Hopefully this will make me a more credible source when talking about video games on this channel too. I think the key factor is actually not the type of games that we're playing, but the type of person playing them. While person A loves playing the same game every day because they really like it and that makes them happy, person B might want to have some variety and switch it up between games. I think that person A and person B are just attracted naturally to different types of games, and both options are okay. Leave a comment below if you're person A or person B, because I'm curious and I want to know what people think about this. To sum up, there are certain people that can play their favorite games for 500 hours, no issues. But I'm not one of those people. I crave variety, and playing through a range of games brings me joy. Although, I sometimes do wish that I had something that hooks me for that long. Maybe one day I'll find that game. If you liked the video, then consider subscribing to hear me talk some more about video games in the future. Thank you for watching.